Hey everyone, Gentech PC here, and today we're looking at the Asus G73JW. This is Asus's newest 17-inch gaming notebook, which is the successor to the G73JH. This machine features Intel's newest quad-core CPU, the i7-740QM. Also, 8GB of DDR3 1333MHz memory, which is now standard in the JW, two 500 gig 7200 rpm hard drives the nvidia 460m gtx with one and a half gigabytes of ddr5 vram that fully supports directx 11 a full hd 1920 by 1080 led backlit screen a fully backlit keyboard a single usb 3.0 port and a blu-ray drive which is also standard now in the jw also included is a full-size backpack and gaming mouse. Now let's take a look at some of the features of the machine. And first we will be looking at the webcam. The webcam is 2 megapixels with an LE indicator light next to the webcam which will turn on when in use. Over to the right of the webcam we have the built-in microphone in the bezel. And now down below we have the touch panel and starting from the left we have the audio mute button, the turbo button for automatic overclocking of the CPU, and the splendid button, which can change the colors on the screen depending on what you're doing, like watching a movie or playing a game. Over to the right are the two speakers. And over further on the right, we have the power button. The G73 has a very spacious and well backlit keyboard that can be turned on and off with the function F3 to turn off and the function F4 to turn on. It makes for easy viewing in rooms with no or very low lighting conditions. The touchpad on this machine is very generous in size and now comes with two buttons unlike the G73JH which was a single button. Overall, this is a really nice touchpad, which also supports multi-touch and the ability to do things like pinch and zoom. Now we're looking at the exterior of the machine. The design of this laptop is inspired by the Stealth Fighter Jet. This machine's entire outer surface, except for the bottom, is covered in a rubberized material, which is very easy to manage and seems to attract less fingerprints than the glossy plastic machines. The machine weighs in at around 8 pounds with the 8 cell battery and is fairly large for a 17 inch machine but at the same time the weight is very manageable for such a large laptop and the rubberized material makes holding on to the machine very easy. Okay now we're looking at the left side of the machine. We're going to start with the Ethernet port, a USB 2.0 port, the Blu-ray DVD-RW multi-drive, another USB 2.0 port, and finally the audio inputs for headphones and microphone. Now looking at the front of the laptop, we have four indicator lights. One is for power, battery, hard drive activity, and Wi-Fi. Now over to the right side of the machine. We have the DC input jack for power, the VGA port, HDMI 1.4 port, which is new to the JW and supports 3D Blu-ray and 3D gaming with the right 3D television and or monitor. Here's another USB 2.0 port, also a USB 3.0 port, and finally the 5-in-1 card reader. Now let's take a look at the back end of the machine. Over on the left we have the CPU exhaust, in the middle we have the battery, and on the right we have the GPU exhaust. Overall, this machine is extremely quiet, whether you're gaming or just browsing the web. 
You will not be interrupting yourself or others around you. Now looking at the bottom of the machine, we have the subwoofer and the access panel. Under the panel, you can change things like hard drives, RAM, and your wireless card. To access things like the CPU or GPU, the entire machine must be taken apart. Now we're going to look in the device manager, and here is the 460M GTX. Here is the Windows Index Score. A 3D Mark Vantage score, and also the temperatures of the CPU and GPU at idle and when fully loaded. All of this was done with stock thermal paste. Thank you for watching our video, and I hope you enjoyed it.